Welcome to episode eight of the Anxious Tradeswoman podcast, where your, I, your host, Louise, as a party, share the things that I've learned through the years, through the tears, so you don't have to. So in episode eight, we are going to be talking workplace relationships. So if we go back to episode four, which was anxiety part three, self-concept, I shared a situation where I had a relationship in my first year. I uh, didn't tell anyone because he told me not to. Uh, turns out that he had a girlfriend the whole time. Um, and then a few years later, he had went around and told everyone that he got me. And I felt like crap. I felt like I was part of the reason why people, some people think that women only get into the trades to get with guys. I then become... I was at the point pretty much suicidal. Uh, I just I just couldn't stand the sight of myself. It felt really awful um, what I was saying to myself. And then I went and I become friends with some of the other mechanics. One mechanic in particular, I become really good friends. Um, at a point in time, I would have called him my best friend. Um, and then one of the other um, mechanics started saying that I was going to do it all again. I... And I was thinking like, no, this guy is my friend. What? No. But I went and asked my friend and he said, yeah, I would like to have a relationship with you like you had in the first year of your apprenticeship, referencing the fact that he had a girlfriend and was planning on keeping her. And I started on that self-beating up all over again. And I had some really good friends around me that helped build me back up again because at the time it really felt like it was the end of the world. It felt like my technical ability would never be respected because of it. But that's not true. It, like, it, it's very internal. And you know what? Yes, some people will think that and some people won't respect me. But honestly, they're not the type of people that I want in my circle anyway. <laughs> so that's kind of how I dealt with it but really I want to pass this on I had one of my lovely clients um, on her week of work experience uh, one of the guys asked her out and she said yes and then she said no because she was like oh yeah and then she was like oh no I actually really want to work here like I don't want to have that in the way um, but then what happened was that when she got the job there the guy was super butt hurt and was making her life miserable like parking her in, like blocking her in with trucks and just doing silly things, taking tools that she needed, just super things, stupid things, like super silly things that just makes life hard. And she didn't feel like she could speak up about it because in her head she was saying that it was her fault because she said no to him. But this has happened a few times I've spoken about this story on social media and I've had girls message me be like yeah I you know was with someone that I work with for two to three months it didn't turn out and now he's making my life miserable but I don't think I can speak up about it because it's my fault right for making the wrong judgment of going out with him and I think we really need to take the pressure off ourselves as someone who put a lot of pressure on herself because something had gone wrong. And like as adults, where do we meet people? At work. Like that's mostly where we meet people. So yeah, it can be, it can happen that we meet someone that we really like at work and we, you know, we give it a go. But if it doesn't turn out well, then that's all it is. It's just a relationship that doesn't turn out well. It's not something that is like you can't recover from that, you know, your reputation is destroyed, your technical ability fell out of your ear. No, most definitely not. So with that, like I've got girls that I know that have married the workplace relationship person that they have been with and they've got three kids. Like there's, you know, people who end up starting businesses together. There are... I have a lot of examples of where it's gone well, but I have also examples of where it's gone poorly. And the thing, the reason why I really wanted to talk about this is to take the pressure off. 
Like still, you know, hold yourself in values. Like I don't recommend sleeping around within the workplace. If you do, you do. Uh, but uh, personally, I don't recommend it. Um, but even in saying that, our relationships, our romantic relationships, taking the workplace part out of it, our romantic relationships do not fa- affect our technical ability. Saying no to someone who asks us out is not an invitation to be bullied. If someone asks you out and you say no and then they bully you, it's not your fault. If you go out with someone for two weeks, two months, two years and then they bully you at work after it's gone pear-shaped, it's not your fault either. If they're bullying you, they're bullying you. It's not a justification that you have gone out with them and then it hasn't turned out well. Unfortunately, I've also heard stories of uh, explicit images being shared around where, you know, you it hasn't happened to me personally um, but where I've had friends who have had that relationship and they have shared images and those images have been shared with other people in the workplace. And honestly, there's so many ways to look at it and, you know, the reality is like, yeah, they may have seen it, they may have their own thoughts about it. But going back to that, it doesn't affect your technical ability. You know, if you're getting bullied because of something like that, then yeah, You know, for me personally, I ended up getting a final written warning for unethical behaviour because one of the guys, the guy that was like, oh, you're just going to hook up with him like you did in first year, he was going on and on and on about it, bullying me over and over and over again and to the point where I ended up bumping my head. Um, I was tensioning a fan belt, um, an old school fan belt. I slipped, I bumped my head. Um, Then I had this big breakdown and the my supervisor put me in the first aid room and he got one of the admin managers to come and talk to me and I was not okay and I was like no I can't tell anyone because it's my fault and yeah you know what I the guy who was bullying me he got instantly dismissed I did get a final written warning but my career did not end my technical ability did not fall out of my ear. Yeah, I made a mistake. And yeah, I was, you know, there was the rules in the workplace and they deemed it pot, like they deemed it necessary to give me that final written warning. But it did not destroy my career. It did not my technical brain did not fill, fall out of my ear. And most of all, like I stopped getting bullied. That guy he he wasn't there anymore to bully me he also got punished and every situation is different every situation can turn out differently because different workplaces you know even you can have the same rules and then just a different person interpreting the rules differently but worst case scenario if something does go pear-shaped at work you report it and then you know you might get punished but your career will go on you'll find a new workplace that actually respects you and has half a brain But anyway, there are so many opinions on workplace relationships, but what I really wanted to leave you with with this episode is that whether you do or you don't, you are wanted. You cannot destroy your career through a relationship. You do not deserve to be bullied because of say a poor judgment I I refer to boys and when I'm talking about relationships because that's my personal that's where I go but your personal romantic relationships if you've made a poor judgment in one of those and someone's turned out not to be the person you thought that does not mean you deserve to be bullied at all so on that note (laughs) the sponsor for this episode is middies and I think last time when I was talking about mental health a more more <laughs> in-depth heavy subject is when I um, had middies as the po- as the sponsor as well but trust me middies underwear is amazing they're women's boxer briefs and I live in them I will not wear anything else um you know I even schedule like I don't wear dresses with slits in the side and whatever if I have to wear uh, normal underwear no 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 so we want to be comfortable and if you want to be comfortable and have practical underwear, middies is the way to go. 
So I do have a 10% off code, uh, Louise as a party. And there's also a link in the description below um, for you to, um, if you use it, you do support the podcast. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Workplace relationships can be a hard topic to talk about. There is so many opinions, but you are wanted in the workplace. You are valid in the workplace and uh, judgment that turned out not to be so great at the time uh, later on uh, does not destroy your career. All right. I will see you guys next week. Have an amazing week. I'll talk to you later. Bye.